Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this fixed beam using strain energy method. In this beam, we have uniformly distributed load 6 kN per meter and it is acting in the left half span. The total length of the beam is 8 meter. Now let us find the degree of static indeterminacy. In this beam, the number of unknown reactions and movements are 4. They are the movements MA and MB, the vertical reactions RA and RB. The available equilibrium equations are 2. The degree of static indeterminacy is equal to 4 minus 2. We will get 2. From these 4, let us take MB and RB as redundant forces. To find MB and RB, we are going to use strain energy method. We know the formula to find the strain energy. U is equal to 1 upon 2 Ei into integration of m square dx. To find the moment m, we have to make sections in this beam. In this beam, there are two different parts, AC and CB. So, we have to make two sections, one in AC and one in CB. You can see that I have made two sections, one in BC and one in CA. I have made both of the sections at the distance of x from the point B. Since there are two sections, we have to split this formula into two parts. This is for the section in CB and this is for the section in AC. For this integration, the limit is 0 to 4 and for this integration, the limit is 4 to 8. Now let us find M1, that is the moment about the first section. We are going to find the moments from the point B. In this case, we have to follow left hand side rule. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. MB is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. RB is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is x so RB into x. Now let us find M2 that is the movement about the second section. MB is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. RB is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is x so RB into x. The UDL is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. For the UDL, we have to take this distance. This distance is x minus 4. We know that for the UDL, we have to multiply with the distance and distance by 2. We can multiply these two. We will get x minus 4 the whole square. 6 upon 2, we will get 3. Here we can use a minus b the whole square formula. We know that a minus b the whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. Here a is x and b is 4. Using the formula we will get this. Then we can multiply minus 3 with this. We will get this. In the point b there is a fixed support. In the fixed support there will be no deflection. So, when we partially differentiate u with respect to rb, it will be 0. Also, in the fixed support, there will be no rotation. So, when we partially differentiate the strain energy u with respect to mb, it will be 0. Let us partially differentiate u with respect to rb. When we partially differentiate m square 1, it will be 2m1. Inside m1 we have rb. So we have to again partially differentiate m1 with respect to rb. When we partially differentiate m2 square, we will get 2m2. Inside m2 we have rb. 
So we have to again partially differentiate M2 with respect to RB. We can eliminate these two and these two. Also we can eliminate these two and these two. 1 upon EA is common. We can take 1 upon EA outside and then the other side 0 into EI we will get 0. We have found M1 and M2. Let us apply both of them. Let us partially differentiate M1 with respect to RB. Here there is no RB so it will be 0. For RB it will be 1. 1 into x we will get x. Let us partially differentiate M2 with respect to RB. In these four terms there is no RB so the differentiation will be 0. For RB it will be 1. So 1 into x we will get x. We can multiply these two terms we will get this and we can multiply these two terms we will get this. Now let us do the integrations. Using this formula we can do the integration. After integrating and simplifying we will get this equation. Let us keep this equation as number 1. We know that when we partially differentiate the strain energy U with respect to MB it will be 0. Let us partially differentiate U with respect to MB. For M1 square we will get 2M1. Inside M1 we have MB. So we have to again partially differentiate M1 with respect to MB. When we partially differentiate M2 square we will get 2M2. Inside M2 we have MB. So we have to again partially differentiate M2 with respect to MB. We can eliminate 2 and we can take 1 upon EI on the other side. 0 into EI we will get 0. Let us apply M1 and M2. Let us partially differentiate M1 with respect to MB. Here it will be 0. For a minus MB it will be minus 1. Let us apply that. Let us partially differentiate M2 with respect to MB. For these four terms it will be 0. For minus MB it will be minus 1. Let us apply that. When we multiply these two we will get this. And when we multiply these two we will get this. Then let us do integration for both of these. After integrating and simplifying we will get this equation. Let us keep this equation as number 2. Now we have made two equations. Now let us take a calculator and solve these two equations. If you do not know how to solve two equations in the calculator, see the description below. There is a link. You can click the link and watch the video. I have used the calculator. For MB I have got 10 kN meter and for RB I have got 4.5 kN. We have found RB and MB. Now let us find RA. For that let us use the rule sigma V is equal to 0. RA and RB are acting upwards. So both of them are positive. This UDL is acting downwards. So it will be negative. For the UDL the distance is 4. Finally for RA we will get 19.5 kN. Now let us take moment about A and find MA. In this case we have to follow left hand side rule. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. MB is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. RB is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 8. The UDL is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. For the UDL we have to multiply with the distance and a distance by 2. Let us assume that MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive. Finally for MA we will get a positive value. That means our assumption is correct. MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction.
Now we can draw the shear force diagram. I'm going to find the shear force values from the point A and towards the point B. In this case, I have to follow right hand side rule. Upwards will be positive and downwards will be negative. Using this rule, I have calculated the shear force values. Here you can see the shear force diagram. In this point, the shear force becomes zero. In this point, there will be the maximum positive bending moment. In this point, we can make a section and find the bending moment. In that point, I have made a section at the distance of x from the point A. We know that in this section, the shear force is zero. Using that concept, we can find x. For x, I have got 3.25 meter. Now, let us find the maximum positive bending moment. MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. The vertical reaction VA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 3.25. The UDL is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so it will be negative. For the UDL, we have to multiply with the distance and a distance by 2. Finally, for the maximum positive bending moment, we agree 9.69 kN meter. Now, let us find the bending moment in the point A. In the point A, we have MA, which is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. To find the bending moments in the points C and B, we can use left hand side rule. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. Let us find the bending moment in the point B. In the point B, we have MB, which is acting in the clockwise direction, so that it will be negative. Let us find the bending moment in the point C. MB is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. RB is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 4. So 4.5 into 4. Finally, for the bending moment at C, we are getting 8 kN meter. Here you can see the bending moment diagram. In these two points, the bending moment becomes zero. We can make sections in these two points and find the distances. For the left side point, I have made the section at the distance of x from the point A. And for the right side point, I have made the section at a distance of x from the point B. Using the right hand side rule, we can find x which is 1.45 meter and using the left hand side rule, we can find this x which is 2.22 meter. Let us enter both of them. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.